Hi guys, welcome to my video. You guys know we recently went camping with our horses to Horse Country Campground, and now we're outside of Ottawa, Ontario, and we had a blast. So I wanna give you guys my honest opinion of the campground and tell you all about it so that if you guys end up wanting to go there with your horses, you'll know what to expect. for following our camping with horses series then you know we took our horses camping it was the best trip ever it was a tr trip of a lifetime for us because we board our horses so it never really feels to us like we own our horses they're cared for by other people um, and basically we just groom them and love them and ride them and buy stuff and pay for them um, but having them camping with us was a whole other world we got to bond with them on a level that I've never had had before anyway I wanted to share um, my thoughts about Horse Country Campground because you never know. Before we went, I looked everything up on the website, I planned it all out, and when we got there, we were not completely prepared. So on their website, it says that you can rent a trailer or a little bunkhouse, and we chose to rent a trailer, or you could bring your own trailer, or you could go tenting. Um, we decided to rent the trailer because it was the best option for us, it was the biggest space for us, and we were a big family. And um, they mentioned that they are their trailers are run by generator. The generator has to go off by 11 um, p.m. and it goes back on again in the morning at 8 a.m. And we didn't realize fully what that meant, but basically this place is in the country. It's at a really nice resort, um, but it's deep in the country and there's no power. So the trailers the trailer actually is run on generator and from 11 till 8 you really don't have any um, electricity uh, that was kind of a deal breaker for us at the beginning we were like what we have no electricity how are we gonna live it was really hot there too but luckily um, at night it cooled right down and the, and the generator was uh, strong enough to cool down our trailer throughout the day and then at night when we turned it off it stayed nice and cool um, uh, um, early on in the second day we realized that that really wasn't a deal breaker that it was amazing because um, all the things that we actually got from Horse Country Campground more than paid off for not having electricity for a few short hours. Um, what we found there was that it was not a really pushy place. You know how some places you go and they have signs up everywhere like put your garbage here and clean up your own poop and I mean you have to do all those things but nobody was on your on your back reminding you about all the rules. In fact, it was the complete opposite. Opposite. It was the most laid back trip of our lives. People were so kind there. They stayed out of your way. They did their own thing. And But if you needed them, they were there. So that's gonna bring me to my next point. The environment at Horse Country Campground is what made the whole entire trip for us. If you've been following our, our trip series, then you know that when we decided to go on the longest uh, trail ride of our lives, the second day in, we walked out of our campsite on, started to go toward the trail and we met these women and they're just women who camp there all the time. They call themselves the ambassadors and they helped us go on our trail. They said, hey, you want us to come? We're going for a trail ride. And we said, of course. And they made that trip for us. They made it. Not only did they give up so much of their own time for us, they pretty much took care of my children on that trail. They taught us so much. Even the next day after the trail ride, they were just the kindest people. They were non-judging. It was pretty clear that we didn't really know a lot and all they did was teach us and talk to us and it, it, they were amazing. They made that campground. They were not pushy people. They were just kind. Like It had such a spirit spiritual feeling about that campground to me like I will always remember that trip because of those ladies because of all the emotions that I had like they gave so much to us and we had nothing really to give back <laughs> but honestly it was even my kids were so blown away by the atmosphere at this place if that's not enough to say how much we enjoyed that place um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more so directly outside of our camp um, was this huge round or this huge uh, warm up 
arena, an outdoor warm-up arena. It was amazing. My kids thoroughly loved it, being able to go out there with their horse and just ride around. And um, right next to that was a massive obstacle course. It's kind of like the kind of course that you see in Extreme Cowboy where they're running around doing all the things. And um, we just took it at our own pace. And my kids absolutely loved that. Another thing is that it was not crowded at all. And um, there are never more than like two people out in any of the rings at any time that we saw It was just so low-key. So anytime we went out there, we pretty much had whatever we were doing to ourselves and Could just take our time and, and learn and, and explore and experience it um, and get the best from it uh, directly behind that was a huge cross-country course and even though we're not quite ready for that kind of a thing yet um, my oldest daughter loved it she just took the jumps the smallest ones did what she felt comfortable with and was able to spend time getting more comfortable if we had spent another week there she would have mastered that course so much better she would have built herself up um, because there was no pressure and that's that's one of the things about that place too is that there just was literally no pressure from anyone even people that were there that were watching there was just it, so much acceptance and so much kindness each campground came with a 2020 corral for your horse and if you had more than one horse you could get a campsite with a bigger corral which was 20 by 30 or you could even get larger um, campsites if you booked early enough because they go quickly um, we ended up getting two 20 by 20 um, corrals on our site, one for each horse, and they were so uh, casual about the whole entire thing. The last day that we were there, we stayed later than the checkout time, which was I think 11 a.m., and we offered to pay, and they were like, no, it, no, it's no problem. Like, they're just the nicest, it is just such a nice place to go. But you guys are probably wondering about um, the trail system. So. Uh, basically the biggest reason that we went there was to take our horse on some horses on some trail rides um, these uh, horse country campground has over 50 kilometers of diverse trails so these are not just a bunch of sand trails you know going through fields and on a few roads this is a, an extensive trail system with um, ups and downs and every kind of footing you could even imagine so um, when we checked in they gave us a map I actually have it somewhere they gave us a map and it was all colored so green was just you know sandy roads and straight trails and yellow you get a little bit more um, diverse footing and you get a little bit of ups and downs in the trails and then there were the red trails which were advanced and for advanced people and we did not go on those but we did find that even the yellow trails and the green trails were pretty diverse and, and very high up on our skill level that's one of the reasons that we were thanking the women that came along with us so much um, we loved our time at Horse Country Campground. This video is not endorsed by them at all. They have no idea that we have a, a, a YouTube channel. Um, I just wanted to make this video um, for anybody who is thinking about it. A lot of you guys said that you loved our Camping With Our Horses series. Um, absolutely, if you are thinking about it, you should go because it just was so worth it. Uh, at the end of our trail ride, we were able to take our horses in the Ottawa River. Um, swimming and it was just beautiful there stunning anyway uh, that's it for this video um, I want to thank you guys for watching our camping with horses series it was amazing I want I'm so for I'm so grateful to have all of those memories forever um, of our first trip with our horses and I hope to do more uh, we'll see you in the next video bye